So I come out, I feel condemned, and I decide to leave home at 18 because my happiness was so much more important than trying to be what they wanted me to be. And to this day, I know in the deepest parts of my being that that was the best decision that I've ever made. It was also the hardest decision I've ever made because I had to leave behind my little brother. But I knew that if I stayed, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be who I am today. And I still carry that guilt of leaving them. And now I'm, I'm doing everything I possibly can to just make sure they, he lives a life that makes him happy. But I'm so, so grateful that I did it because now I'm, <laughs> I'm living the life of my dreams and I'm doing everything I possibly can to make sure that they can live the life of their dreams. And it took me leaving for my mother to really look at herself and reevaluate what was important to her. And I'm so grateful to say that after many seeds planted, many long conversations, my mother has made a full 180. She understands that who I am is not a choice. I am gay. I have always been gay. And whatever God she believes in, they made me this way. She now loves and accepts and embraces every part of who I am. She loves my partner, Dominic. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. And while things didn't necessarily go the way I expected, it taught me so much and it really helped shape the person I am today. It made me deeply empathetic to people who are in the matrix, who are in the construct of church, of religion. Because I know a lot of people turn to it when they feel they have nothing left. So I'm here to tell you, there is so much more. There is you, there is your life, there are your goals, your happiness. Follow it and lead a life of love, real love, unconditional love. Because whatever love they talking about at the church, that ain't it. I guess the moral of the story is no matter how hard it is, choose you, choose love, happy pride.